I was invited to <clears throat> I was invited to a webinar last night. And I um I have this new Facebook friend and I think he's got his shit together. I do. So he invited me to a webinar and I figured I'd join to see <clears throat> Excuse me, I just went running to see what this thing was. And it was, um, it was perfect webinar format. I don't know if they sold anything. <clears throat> they, they showed PowerPoint. They showed PowerPoint and they spoke. And when they spoke, they had the words flashing across the screen. So it was like it was all sketched out as a subtitled thing, but you could see the whole deal. And I'll take these off because you can see my eyes better. <clears throat> Why do I tell you this? They gave, um, I stayed. I stayed for quite some time. Um, at first I thought maybe this person is sending me to this because He's a new friend of mine, and he's a business person, and he wanted to give me information. I think, in fact, he's an affiliate, and they were selling a product. Because it was, it, it was, it was perfect webinar format, and that's great. That's fine. It was late night for me. It was one in the morning. And it didn't get started immediately. I was a few minutes late and they were, they hadn't launched into the substance of the thing yet, but it was a pretty good perfect webinar format, but there were two things that were missing. One was that they didn't actually provide solid information that I could take away. They didn't provide information that made me equipped with something new. Perhaps they were speaking to someone newer at this stuff than me. But it didn't look like it to me because even if I was speaking to someone who was brand new, I would be talking, I'd be giving them something that they could really sink their teeth into and get started. So I would be giving them basic tools, not what they did, which was sketch out the type of plan. So that's one problem with their perfect webinar. But there was another thing, and this is where I want you to listen. They showed PowerPoint and they showed the words. And it made me wonder whether they were there at all. They asked for comments and they were very fast to say, oh yeah, uh, Ahmed's got something and Mary's got something and Alan says yes and all that stuff. It was really fast. And it made me wonder whether or not that was recorded. It's okay to have something recorded, but it really feels markety, salesy. So what was missing? Their personalities, because they didn't show themselves. They didn't show me them. Now maybe, I'm the anomaly. Maybe I'm not the market. Maybe I'm completely misguided in my sense that what people actually want is a person. And we're at four, we're at almost five minutes into this little talk here. So if you comment, you know, hashtag human, then I'll know 
that you agree with me. <laughs> or you can just say agreed. Because my question is, do you really want a person? Isn't that more valuable to you? I think that we're talking to people as people and they will relate to us as people and that is what sets our stuff apart. So, that's the first part. Lessons from this less than perfect webinar. Their preparation, their method was good and I can show you what I believe to be a better perfect webinar than what they did. Um, it's a solid one hour. They went an hour and a half. It's a solid one hour and it's really fair and honest and nice. But that brings me to the second part and I'm going to hit this a few other times. I went running today, just now, for the first time in quite some time. And I've been in lockdown and I've been doing lots of stuff here. Chainsaw. Um, I have a tree back here. That pear tree right there. That one. Um, it had five meter tall branches at the top. All of those down there were all sticking off the top. And the biggest ones, the thickest ones, as thick as my fist, um, we're sticking straight out the top and those are in a corner over there and I'm going to chop them into firewood and stack them with my our firewood there. So I've been doing a lot of work and I've been doing a lot of, I've been doing that instead of athletics. So I went running today and I ran slowly. I ran slowly because I tweaked my knee the other day and I wanted to go slowly and I wanted to be careful. And as I was running, I was doing the right thing. Don't go, too hard. don't go too far, don't go too hard, don't push yourself, but finish the whole damn thing. Whatever I set out for myself, I do, I do an out and back type of run, so I turn around, I make a UE at some point. So I know when I've reached my halfway point, like I normally have a good run, and I know where my halfway point should be, but I turned around early this time because... I didn't want to hurt myself. I'll go running again. Uh, maybe not tomorrow, maybe in two days when I really need it again. And I'll get myself back up to play, back up to level. Why do I tell you this? Because you start your run and you start your training the same way you do with this video stuff, you see. Here we are, the video. And I'm going to make this under... 10 minutes. So this is at 8.20. So I'm going to give this to you fast. There's no magic bullet. There's no app for this. You train with these simple, seemingly simple tools and you repeat them. And you fearlessly put them out there on the art of face dancing. Put your shitty efforts on the art of face dancing and then put your next ones on the art of face dancing and put your next ones on the art of face dancing and you will see the difference. You will see the progression. But this is not an immediate thing. Don't buy into the shiny object. I'm going to be a superstar fast. It's training. Just like my running. I have to respect the work the effort, the time, and the repetition. My friend uh, Phil Hulford is doing a uh, thing called CG Flow, and it is about movers and dancers, and it is about continuity. It is about doing it every time. Woody Allen said, I think, 90% uh, of life is just showing up. You can love him or hate him, but the truth is 90% of life is just showing up. You gotta keep coming back and work the different little items until you get them under your skin and then they become effortless and you progress and progress and progress. 10 minutes. 
i'm out of here.